So all of you can start reading now. I'm going to start my timer. You are going to get exactly 10 minutes to read the first page of chapter two, and then pick your role and go ahead with your role. You can draw whatever you are imagining. So when you are, when I am saying this or when you are reading that, some picture is coming into your head, right? So that picture represents that on a paper. If you are in Vinaya's place, you will exchange your best uh, locket. Correct. Locket with blue emerald. Wonderful. Why or why not? First, you will ask your group members the questions. Then you will move on to the class. I'll get you next week. Did you get the meanings of at least two words? Remember? Yeah, at least two words. So I'll give the dictionary to them. You guys move on to the next part of it. Take one more minute to finish your own activities. You will then move on to discussing it in your own groups. So seldom means rarely. Guys, take two more minutes to finish your group discussion so that we can uh, come back to the class and have a classroom discussion. Why was Ram Barosa so attracted to the umbrella? Because the umbrella is very costly and very expensive. So then Ram Barosa said that. Next question. Why didn't Vinaya want to sell the umbrella? He loved that umbrella and she uh, exchanged with his luck, her lucky okay. locket and she won. Don't want to give it, give it to anyone. Perfect. That shows us how much Vinaya likes that umbrella. Next question. Will Vinaya give the blue umbrella to Ram Bharusa? I didn't think so. She will give because she loves her umbrella a lot. Then she loves her umbrella a lot. All right. Perfect. Uh, maybe the character sketcher from the first group. Can you stand up and share what you have drawn? How you have illustrated the entire text? Vinaya come from the mountains is with her brother to take something from the shop, cold drink from the shop and uh, Ram Harosa is trying to take umbrella from Vinaya. So they are con they are talking between both of them. Uh, Alright, no has a doubt for you sir. The road is Kacha Road. And that uh, it's not a hose. Ho. But Yusuf has drawn a hose, costly road. Can we have a word wizard from this group? Uh, can, can, we, can you stand up and share the words that you have written down? Snapped. Uh, I think that the meaning of the word snapped is breaking with a sharp crack vo vo voice. Wonderful. Astonished. Astonished. Impressed greatly. Wonderful. The word astonished means impressed greatly. Okay, summarize up. Yeah. There is a Ram Bharosa. Ram Bharosa has a tea shop. And Ram Bharosa is asking Vinaya to give a give umbrella five, um, five rupees for five rupees. But Vinaya not give. At last Ram Bharosa tells that give me twelve rupees, but Vinaya not give this this show as how Vinaya love her umbrella. Paragraph pick up. All right, share it with the entire class. I love the paragraph which is uh, Ram Bharosa demanded for a blue umbrella and Vinaya refused to give it. It shows that how much Vinaya love her special blue umbrella. And we are left with one connection maker. In the summer, we drink uh, water and the ice melts. And there also the ice melts Perfect. because of water. The story is saying that the ice melted because it's summer, which means that the temperature was hot. Very good, man. Sit down. Temperature is very hot in summer over here also. Wonderful. Perfect, guys. 
Uh, so with that, we'll be closing out our literature circle today. I hope everyone understood the text that we read. Yeah. We'll be continuing with the story in tomorrow's class. Can someone quickly stand up and give a summary of what happened in the story yesterday? Uh, yes, Noman. Because, sir, there is a oh, shopkeeper who is asking oh, Camrella from Camrella from Binya. 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 Oh, shopkeeper is selling, saying to Binya, give me umbrella in five rupees. Binya said no. And Perfect. the shopkeeper said, give me in twelve rupees. Binya said no. This show how is Binya love her umbrella. Wonderful answer, Noman. And can someone also tell me? Why did the shopkeeper want that umbrella so badly? He wanted to <coughs> show off like he is rich, he wanted that umbrella. We also saw that Binya did not give the umbrella which showed us that Binya likes that umbrella a lot. So in today's class when we are reading the text we are also going to look at a few words that the author has used in order to make the story more interesting and in order to make the readers feel more connected towards the story. Sana can you start reading it out loudly for the entire class? Binya placed a five paise coin on the counter. I came for a toffee, she said. Ram Bharosa pulled at his drooping whiskers, gave Binya a wry look and placed a toffee in the palm of her hand. He watched Binya as he walked away along the dusty road. The blue umbrella held him fascinated. Everyone on the road turned their heads to stare at the girl with the bright blue umbrella. Perfect, Sana. How do you think? How do you think this made Binya feel? Yes, Aziz? Nervous. Very nervous. Why? Uh, because uh, if anybody look at us in that way, then we get very scared and become nervous. Perfect. So Aziz is making a text to self connection there and he's saying if anyone, if people stare at us, we feel very nervous and he's saying that maybe Binya is feeling nervous right now. It was that kind of day, sleepy, warm and summery. And while she slept, a wine sprang up. It came quietly, swishing gently through the trees, humming softly. Wonderful, Sakura. What happened when Binya slept? Can someone help Noman here? Rehan? And trying to take the blue emblem. Did someone come? No, the wind. Wind came. And while she slept, a wind sprang up. It came quietly, swishing gently through the trees, Humming softly. I want all of you to take two minutes, discuss in your groups why is the author trying to give these character traits to wind and trees and why is the author explaining it in this way instead of just saying the trees came to life or something like that. softly. Then it was joined by other random gusts bustling over the tops of the mountains. The trees shook their heads and came to life. The wind grew stronger, picking up dead leaves and sending them spinning and swirling through the air. It got into the umbrella and began to drag it over the grass. Suddenly, it lifted the umbrella and carried it about six feet from the sleeping girl. The sound woke Binya. What did the wind do? 
Uh, now the author is saying Vinya suddenly woke up. What do you think would have been her response as soon as she woke up, you sir? Where is my umbrella? Where is my umbrella? So maybe she would have gotten a little scared. And what do you think she would do right now? She will run. Yeah, she will run towards the umbrella. She will run towards the umbrella in order to catch it. In your groups, you will be reading the remaining part of the story. Meanwhile, I'll be writing a few questions on the board. You will read it in your group and on your own you will be answering the questions that are on your board. Do you think wind has different kinds of moods? Do you think wind has any mood? Then why is the author saying that the wind has wind is feeling wicked and playful today? Why do you to make that story interesting? And also, what are we understanding from all these words that the author is using? How do you think the language that Ruskin Bond has used is different from the language that was used in DMS Mrs. Naidu and uh, Matilda? Matilda is fictional. Uh, Matilda fictional. is a fictional book. Okay. Huh. So, uh, DMS Mrs. Naidu is non-fictional book. Okay. But this book is a uh, mixture of both the things, fictional and non-fictional. And why do you think it's a mixture of both the things? Because, first of all, uh, fictional because the author is exaggerating a lot of words okay. and giving a non-living thing. Of a living thing. Oh, and, character traits. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then non fictional because the character setting is in a village and there are lots of uh, human characters. Perfect. There are so many human characters and there's no magic that's happening. But one difference that we are seeing very clearly is that Ruskin Bond has is exaggerating a lot of things and he's using different kinds of figures of speech. Okay, take like four to five more minutes to finish it. Then we'll have a quick closing for the class. <laughs> Just be moving around to check a few notebooks. Why? Why is she too short? Yeah. Correct. Okay. So you need to write it. <coughs> now we have done Matilda, we have done DMSS Naidu, and now we are doing the Blue Umbrella. What do you think is the difference in the language that in which all these books have been written in? Matilda is a fictional book. Dear Mrs. Naidu is a non-fictional book and the, bro, the bro, blue umbrella is a mixture of both the things. And if I had to ask you which one you like the most, are you liking blue umbrella the most, this kind of language, or are you liking Matilda or Dear Mrs. Naidu? What, is, what would your response be? Yes, you sir? Why did you like Matilda more than the blue umbrella? Because in Matilda, they have magic and she do magic every time. So Yusuf feels that Matilda had a lot of magic and that captured his interest. Sanya, what do you think? Love Blue Umbrella because Matilda has magic and it's nice book. I also love that. And in Dear Mrs. Naidu, it's also nice. So in this book, there are mixture of them. So I like that book. You like this book because there's a mixture in this book. Safura, last response. I really like Dear Mrs. Naidu because from Dear Mrs. Naidu book, we learned a lot of things. We 
we as normal students we learned values we understood that we can actually solve it so sapura like dmss naidu more than both metinda and uh, this one because she she was able to connect herself to the book more because it's based in the context while reading this book the blue umbrella by in our later classes i would love for everyone to look out the look out for the language that ruskin bond has used because in many of the books written by ruskin bond he uses the same kind of language in which he gives non living things a lot of character traits that which we usually give to human beings so we'll be looking out for <coughs> words like this okay all right you can all continue writing writing and once you're done you can close your books and take them in your bags okay.